Hey guys, it is Dash Armstrong, and today we are making sushi. <laughs> I am so excited to try and make sushi. This would be my first time making sushi. Um, today I'm not giving you guys ring light teas. It's gonna be all natural kitchen light, which is one light. I don't feel like moving everything in the kitchen to show you guys. Okay. So today I am super, super duper, 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 duper excited to make sushi. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, what I'm using today. I'm so excited. Mind you, sushi is my first, uh, my favorite uh, food. Um, it's my first love. Um, my sister introduced me to it when we went to the city and I fell in love with sushi. Um, yeah, I'm with it. I'm with the raw fish and everything. Today, I'm only giving you guys crab meat teas and tempura teas. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it because we're about to go on this adventure and I think it's going to be fun. All right, so guys, we have the sushi. Um, the uh, Oh my God, what is it called? Please help me out. Um, the seaweed. We have the mayonnaise for the um, spicy mayo. And this is a cool thing that I ordered from Amazon. Now this is gonna help me make the sushi because I know I'm not able to roll that sushi how it should be rolled. So we're gonna use that. This is this cool thing that I'm gonna show you guys how to cut an avocado. It's a great invention. Um, this is the seafood um, crab meat. That's the wasabi, that's the um, Oh my God, what is this called? Um, Lord Jesus. Sriracha sauce. I can't think of anything today. This is sui sauce. This is soy sauce. I said sui sauce, but. And this is rice wine vinegar that I used already. So I'm gonna bring you guys over here real quick. Um, the shrimp right here. And then this is the rice. This is the rice that I already cooked and they told me to add rice rice wine vinegar sugar and uh three cups of water so that's it and they told me to let it cool so they said either put it by the window sill or have a fan on it so right now i have a fan on it to let it cool and you know i guess soak in the vinegar and stuff i don't know we're just going to do that how they cook it so hold on all right this is the oil that we're going to use to fry the shrimp so we're going to do a tempura tempura batter um so we're going to try this out this is my first time like i said i'm super duper excited so this is cool that's again in a perfect world i don't know if I, I said that before in my other video in a perfect world i would have dash coming down to my kitchen of all white luxury and stainless um steel products but you know, you can't get everything that you want, you know? So we're gonna uh we're gonna have fun today. I'm super excited. Like I said, I ordered this um sushi kit from Amazon. So this I just noticed it tells you exactly um it tells you exactly uh how to make sushi in here. I'm not gonna try it on here because I know I'm not gonna get that shit right. I can't even roll a blunt. So if I can't roll a blunt. I don't think I'm going to be able to roll sushi. By the way, this shirt is brought to you by ASOS. Um, I showed it on a review earlier in this week. So check out that video. But I am so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited, guys. I can't wait. All right, guys. So I currently have my oil on. Um, you need a cold, cold, cold very cold they said very cold um water so i did put a pitcher in the freezer but it's not getting cold enough and i'm ready to like go and film this now so i have this bottle of water that's like ice cold water <laughs> so i'm gonna uh pour it into the thing into the pink i mean to the little bowl that i have so, to be honest, I'm not sure exactly the measurements they told me to pick, but I'm just gonna wing it. 
they asked for one egg, so I'm gonna crack the egg. And I'm putting that into the bowl now. Um, do I have a fork in handy? Hold on. Okay, so. I'm going to risk this. And I know the water is like super duper cold because I just took it out the freezer. So I actually added one cup of, I have one cup of flour, but I'm not gonna add that. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it to where I feel it would be correct. So I just put a little bit in there now and then I'm gonna stir it around just to see, um, see how thick it gets. And of course you need it to be a little thick, but I kind of want to just go, keep going, like adding it in, I feel like would be better rather than adding a big chunk of flour in there and then it's coming out too thick. So I'd rather just keep adding it in. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, just adding the flour in. And then once I get it to a consistency I like, I'm going to show you guys. All I did was use a fork. I didn't use a whisk. Um, you could use a whisk if you want. I like this consistency. <laughs> I like that consistency. I did not know it was about to like, just pour all on my damn thing. So I like that. Um, you also need cornstarch. Cornstarch. Um, and they just want you to sprinkle that on the shrimp. So what I did was I thought about just like cutting them in half, but since I didn't follow the directions and get the type of shrimps they want, I was going to cut them like this, but then I was like, that's going to be too little. So I think I'm just going to keep them full and cook them like that and just fry them like that tempura. Um, I didn't season anything because I was a little bit nervous about seasoning, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and season it. Just give me one minute. And what I'm gonna do is just add this to the batter, and it's just simple um, seasoning. It's uh, seasoning salt. Add a little bit of seasoning salt, and I'm adding that into the tempura batter. Um, paprika, and a little bit of garlic. What well, a lot of garlic. I'm a fan of garlic, so the more the garlic, the more the better. Um, and onion powder. This is just like regular seasoning that I would season shrimps on a basic, a regular basis. So um, this is kind of how I look. I'm not going to tip it over the game because we saw what happened before. So yeah, we're just going to give it a little flavor. And boom, it kind of looked like orange sauce. So what I'm gonna do now, since I flavored the batter, I'm not gonna flavor the shrimps. Um, I don't know. I'm not. I'm. Uh, I don't think it's necessary. I don't think. I don't think so. Maybe. Actually, let's just like put a little seasoning salt. I don't want to over season it because I know I'm using um, soy sauce, soy sauce to dip it in, and that is pretty. Um, Salty by itself, so I'm not trying to overly salt my food. Um, so yeah, I just put a little light seasoning on it. You can barely see it. Um, and then we're gonna put the cornstarch mix in it. 
I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit because it's too much. <laughs> I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit because it's too much. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have just already measured that out because. You know, you just roll with it. You just roll with it. I ain't never cooked no food with no cornstarch, so this is um, interesting. But I know this is what they use because I've seen them use it before. Cause I'm nosy, so I'll be in the Chinese store looking at what they're using. And I know after the Chinese food, uh, Chinese food restaurant, they use like um cornstarch. Sushi is not Chinese though. It's chip, chip, Japanese, is it? No, sushi is Japanese actually. But still, I feel like they all like kind of use the like same ingredients. That's kind of like um. Um, me being from the south, not being from the south, my grandparents being from the south, we kind of cook the same way as uh, kind of Caribbean people do. So, yeah. I'm like tasting rice. I'm nervous about my rice. I don't know if I did it right. This is a living you learn situation, so whatever. So my oil seems like it's getting hot, so what I'm going to do is, um, I put the cornstarch on this shrimp, so what I'm going to do now is dip it in here. I'm going to dip it in here. I don't think my oil is completely um, ready yet, so we're going to wait on that. But, um, yeah. So guys, I don't know if I told you in my earlier videos, I work at the mall, I'm a manager at a retail store. So now the mall is kind of trying to um, get us back to, trying to get us to go back into work, but I don't feel like it's safe because you can't control the traffic this in the mall. So this is how it looks. I'm gonna rape, <laughs> rape, what? I'm gonna uh, wipe out some of the batter and then I'm gonna uh, drop this, this will be my, Tester, take one for the team. Okay, so the fight is definitely not hot because that jet just dripped to the bottom. So what we're gonna do, since that one is our tester, we're gonna wait until it rises up to the top. And then I'm gonna show you guys, once it rises up to the top, um, that's when you know the oil is ready. So even if you are cooking something, I know usually people just put um, a piece of bread and let the piece of bread rise to the top. Guys, so that's the pot. Rose to the top, it is risen. And now we're about to add the rest of the shrimp into the mix. So guys, this is the tester that I put in the, uh, nah, ha, ha, ha. This is the one I put in the fryer first, this sh ha. That's actually good. <laughs> Bro, it tastes like... It tastes like... Oh, I made it. It tastes like the tempura that you would get from a sushi restaurant. <laughs> Did you guys see that? But it tastes like the um, tempura that you would get from a sushi restaurant. So I am super duper 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 duper. 
excited as hell, bro. I'm what? Okay, guys, while we wait, while the sushi get fried, I mean, the sushi get fried, while we wait while the shrimp get um crispy, because I like mine's crispy, we're gonna do a little dance break. Guys, I don't know where sushi originated from, and I should have checked my info, and I should have checked my um, Google. But before this night is over, I will know where sushi originated from and the history behind sushi. Let's get it. Um, so guys, while we wait for the um, tempura to get, um, get a little bit more crispy, we're gonna start on spicy mayo sauce, which I didn't know was this easy to make. If I would've known, I would've been making it for years. So all you need is mayonnaise, sriracha sauce. That's it. Um, I got all my um, ingredients from Whole Foods. Hold on for a minute, let me just take it out. I think it's crispy enough. Oh shit. I kept it in a little longer, but it wasn't getting as brown as I thought it was gonna be, so I feel like just keeping it on a little any longer would just be cooking the shrimp and it doesn't need to be cooked anymore because these shrimps are already cooked. So, this is how it looks. It looks good and this smells uh, bomb delicious. Bomb delicioso. So, do I have a spoon in handy? <laughs> Let's get crazy. Let's open it. <laughs> Let's get crazy. Let's open it how we want. Okay, so oh, here's my little um. I think I kind of need this big roll. So I'm gonna put um. I don't measure when I cook. Like I don't see the point of it. I'm putting two scoops of mayo in there, and let's open this sucker up. I like my stuff spicy, so the spicier the better. Of course, Dash is not just gonna come open because if it would have came open, that wouldn't be sanitary. Please don't judge me, cause I don't judge ya. So we're gonna put a teaspoon or sriracha sauce in here. We're gonna put a teaspoon of sriracha sauce. <laughs> I love hot stuff. <laughs> I love hot stuff. <laughs> I kinda wanted it a little bit more hot. <laughs> So it's hot, but I like mine's hot, so we're gonna add up more sriracha. And I just love the orange color, so why not see if she that color? <laughs> Bruh. I'm happy. I keep thinking that you guys are gonna see my underwear because I'm cooking with this shirt and underwear is like. But I just hope this rice is like, the consistency that it needs to be because I don't know. It tastes good, but I don't know. I don't know. To make me feel so real. So, I got this bag from Whole Foods. I 
Sushi tastes good. Well, Dad, Dad, she likes sushi, so why would it taste good? Um. Oh, oh, oh. I know what I wanted to show you guys. Oh, 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 my lips so precious. The way I make a rap with the Mac Mac brushes. That's probably why the reason that it's going to get cushy. Um, this is the avocado quarter, and then super do we do we do we do we do very excited to use it. I'm super do we do we So, this cuts like no other watch. Pat out. This is already cut. So, cut it in the circle. Put it in a circle. In a circle. Okay, so I got this from Whole Foods and it's already a little brown, but I don't mind it because I like my avocados like that. So what you do is the cool thing about this jigga majigga is you put this on here to get the perfect um avocado sauces. Haha. Uh -huh. Did it come out perfect? No, no. <laughs> All right, it didn't come out perfect, but you guys get the deal. That's easy and super easy rather than scooping that stuff out and doing it like that. So, yeah. Um. So, like I told you, I wasn't gonna even fake sauce and try to act like I can roll this myself. We're not about that life. So, I'm hoping this rice is I keep eating it because I'm not. I don't know if it's supposed to be drier. All right, so what I'm gonna do is try to make one. Hold on real quick. Boom, now I'm really like food network because I already got the avocado cut. <laughs> I already got a cut. And I already got my zucchini cut. I am food network. Me and you, food network. Okay, so let's pop open this jigga majigga. To make it feel so real. What am I supposed to do? Okay, so first of all, let me say. You can be accusing me of the things you know You are guilty of yeah. And I do So what you gonna do now? It's just a game I can go and refund to all the things you said I do But I can't so what you want to do is what if I read it correctly, they say you add the rice on both sides because I feel like my rice do needs to be a little drier. So I'm just gonna try to make this one and then we're gonna dry it out a little bit more. So Okay, so the thing is supposed to be like this. Both sides are filled. And, um, so you do that one side like that I don't know if you guys can see it and you get like a dent in it I don't know if you guys can see it I'm supposed to put that in there and you get like a dent so boom once you get your dent then if I'm not mistaken I hope I'm reading this fucking right then you put this here and then you add your stuff in it. So I'm gonna show you guys once I finish adding. So this is how it's looking right now. So I'm about to close it up and we're about to see. I'm super duper nervous. So they said gently close. Jesus. So I close it and as you see the rice, some of the rice coming out, I don't know if that's supposed to happen. We're just gonna wish for the best. So I'm gonna show you guys once I finish twisting, twisting it and everything. Hopefully, 
Fingers crossed it comes out how we want it. You got to be shitting me. I did it right. <laughs> I am hyped as fuck, yo. <laughs> I'm hyped as fuck. I did it right. I'm so hyped. <laughs> Oh, so right now I'm about to roll it. Give me. I'm so hyped. Because we're about to roll it. <laughs> so guys, not only did this sushi come with the avocado cutter, the um, the wooden spoons. I'm gonna list everything that it came with. Actually, I'm gonna post it on the side. It came with a lot of stuff. It came with this dope knife. Um, so what I'm gonna do now that I'm so excited that it came out, um, great. Well, it didn't come out great, but it came out good for my first time. I'm gonna, ooh, this knife cut like butter, baby, baby, this knife cut like butter. So I'm just cutting, you know, the sushi right now. I'm being very delicate. I do not want to fuck up my hard work. And I definitely took the shortcut out because I was not cutting that sushi. I was not cutting that sushi, um, what you call it? I just want to get it on some type of tray or something and eat it for you guys. I got this soy sauce, um, lemon sauce that I'm putting in there. Mm. I got my spicy meal. The only thing I don't have is my little ginger to, um, to set the mood right. But I like to put my wasabi into my, um, into my soy sauce. I like that little pop of that nose type situation. Um, give me a minute. It also came with um, chopsticks. I just wanna get into the, I just wanna get into the food real quick. So you guys can see, like I'm gonna make me of course more. Bro, I made sushi. I made fucking sushi. I'm so excited. Of course, um, the shape did not come out perfect. I'm gonna post a picture of how Go ahead and drop in chopsticks and things like that. I'm gonna post a picture of how everything came out, but I'm extremely happy with the tools that Amazon gave me and the tools that they actually had instructed in the thing. And just with knowledge of Google and stuff like that, I was able to create a successful sushi dish. I'm super excited. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the pictures. Um, and if you but thank you guys for watching. Woo, I'm in here sweating, I'm on high and stuff. But yeah, I made sushi. Alright guys, thank you. Make you uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube, my uh, Facebook, my Instagram, and everything like that. And you guys stay blessed and stay safe. Thank you.